Let's assume you own a landscaping company. You mow people's lawn and you make their yards look beautiful. You recently purchased a mowing equipment which is worth 29,100. You bought it through the bank because you didn't have uh, all the money to pay for. So you had to make a down payment of 7,000. That means the remaining amount you owe the bank is 22,100. How do you record this purchase, down payment and the loan in QuickBooks? Well, you do that by writing a check. It's the same way we write a check. But before I demonstrate that, I want you to pay attention to my bank account balance and my mortgage account balance. I have zero amount in my mortgage account balance. So now let's go ahead and write the check. I'll go to the banking menu and select the banking. Well, if you remember the shortcut for writing a check is control W using your keyboard, but let's go ahead and use the banking menu. So, and then we go down one and we select the right checks. And then the check window comes up and QuickBooks is asking whether we want to write the check with this account number. You may have different bank account. So, if you want to double check or select a different bank account from this, you use the drop down menu, the drop down arrow next to the bank account. In this case, I only have one bank account, so I select that one uh, by option. And also here, you notice that QuickBooks is suggesting 112 as the check number. This is because QuickBooks continues from a previous check number you wrote. So, that means my previous check, check was check number 111. You may have to double check with yours and change the check number if that's not the check number you are writing. And then the date is okay, so I'm gonna leave it at. Now, who am I writing the check to? So this check, I'm writing it to the bank. So I can use the drop down arrow to look for the bank or I can just type in to be efficient. So bank, and the only bank that comes up a new alliance. So I select new alliance, okay, and then it fills up the address and everything I need here in the check. Now, the amount, okay, this is where it gets confusing. Okay, let's go back and see. Now, <clears throat> we paid 7,000, the equipment is worth 29,100 and the loan is 22,100. We are only going to record the amount we paid, the down payment, which is the 7,000 in the check, okay? So let's go and select the amount, which was 7,000. So we paid 7,000 and then it fills up here. And you notice it fills up 7,000 here as well because it's recalculating and suggesting that that's the only thing we had to do, okay? So in the memo, it's up to you how you want to describe it, but I'm going to write it here, down payment for mowing equipment. Okay, so I made a down payment for mowing equipment, okay? Although QuickBook has suggested 7,000 here, that's not the amount I'm going to use, okay? I'm going to record the equipment, okay? So what is the equipment? The equipment is mowing equipment and it is worth 29,100, the full amount that the equipment is worth. So I'll go here and use the drop down arrow to search for the equipment, or I'm just going to type in mowing equipment. In this case, mowing equipment comes out, I select it. How much is it worth? It's worth 29,100. So I'm going to change this 7,000 and type in 29,100. And notice what QuickBooks does after that, good. So QuickBooks then suggests that there's a balance of 22,100 saying you paid for 7,000 and the equipment is worth 29,000. Now you are owing 22,100. So it shows negative amount here. QuickBooks calculates it automatically, which matches the amount we owe on the loan. So all we have to do is to select which <clears throat> liability account we want to use. In this case, I want to use mortgages. So I can go down and look for it, or I can type in mortgages and then the mortgages comes up okay so that's the amount i'm owing now 22 100 and the equipment is worth 29,100. so i'm going to describe it with a memo so i'm just going to do purchase to mowing equipment equipment and then this is the loan amount okay so 
I wrote a check for 7,000 uh, for equipment that is worth 29,100. Now I'm owing 22,100. So I'm going to record and close. So I'm going to select save and close. Okay, now we have recorded, recorded it. Now notice that my mortgage amount changed, account balance changed to 22,100 because I've just recorded that I have a liability I need to pay in the future. And my bank account balance also changed. Okay, so this is how you record down payment in QuickBooks.